Heidi Ho friends, thank you for joining me for another video. I am Michelle, and today I have a Kringle candle haul, mostly wax melts. There's one candle in here. Um, it is a Christmas holiday candle-ish. I'm probably gonna use it all year long. <laughs> um, but I have already tried that one. Most of these I haven't even uh, smelled before so this will be first sniffs for most of these I haven't even opened I did you know cut open the box but I kind of wanted to give y'all an idea of how these were packed so I all I did was open the flaps here so they pack with these uh, peanuts and then let me see give you an idea how well these are packed. I'm assuming that's my candle and then these are stacks of wax that are saran wrapped I believe all together. So let's see. No. Well the saran wrap is kind of making it stick together so let me get a little adjustment here. Some of these are Christmas scents. Um, just because I wanted to try them in case they're out again next year. Oh, I did get a few daylight candles. They are, here's how they were in there. Looks like two. These are like one and a half ounces, I think. Oh, five ounce, up to 12 hours. So this is Kringle. I guess it helped if I held it the right way. Kringle candle, Christmas. Uh, this is definitely tree scent, not a not what I would say is a fresh tree scent. Let me see what the scent notes are. <laughs> scent notes. Ah, oh, that's fine. Okay. Top notes are cedarwood and musk. Mid notes, sandalwood, Siberian fir. Um, fir needle, sorry. And the base is wood. So, yeah, this is more of a woodsy than the fresh green. So, if you like woodsy scents, this is a good one. To me, I mainly get the cedar wood and then just a little bit of that Siberian fir needle underneath. These are good, just a good way to try out the wax. These are 350. Next is Country Candle, Old Saint, Old Saint Nick. I love their labels. For me, that is one of the, like, the standout company for their labels. This is really light. Try to kind of warm it up. Mm. Saint Nick. Top sandalwood vanilla, mid cedar, citrus, and base vanilla and musk. This is interesting. It seems light. I get like a, a smooth vanilla. I don't really get any citrus. I think I mainly get that vanilla and the musk. I think that's what I get. And um, for me on these daylights, I will probably cut them, pop them out and cut them in half and put them in a wax melter. Um, I know f recently, or last year sometime, the Kringle candles changed to all soy wax which is going to be a softer wax and then country candle I think is 
all paraffin, but I'm not sure. This wax doesn't really feel that hard to me. So I'm not sure like what the daylights specifically are. Okay. Who wants to know what candle, one candle I got? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go through the wax first. Because of each little stack is wrapped, you know, they're kind of sticking together, so. Woo! Oh, I see, they had them in the tray. That was a fun moment. <laughs> So that was a stack of six, and I'm keeping this to help store them in. Which one do I want to do first? Okay, okay. Let's do Eucalyptus Mint. And I'm assuming the scent notes are Eucalyptus and Mint. <laughs> well, let's see what we got for mid and all that. Sorry, I'm doing a little, okay. Top says eucalyptus and mint and bergamot. Mid says peppermint and basil. Base says rosemary and musk. And you can tell all their labels, I don't know if you can see that, have like little bubbles under them. There, you can kind of see that bubble. Doesn't really bother me, but it bothers you. Oh, this is nice. Um, I do get that peppermint in there. Quite a bit, actually, for me. But I don't normally like peppermint. But I don't think this is like an overwhelming peppermint. It just helps bring kind of some brightness and coolness to it, kind of. It's not super heavy on the eucalyptus. I don't get any bergamot or even, I guess maybe I can get some basil. Just a tad of basil. And a tad of rosemary. The more I smell it, the more I can smell the other notes. Um, I don't really get any musk from this. This is nice, a complex, real nice, complex eucalyptus mint. I'm excited to try that one. Put that in the little tray. Let's go all back. Thank you. Next. So that was to me an all around, you know, all year round scent. Um, so many I can't wait to smell. Okay. Next is Far, Far Away. And let's see. Top notes, orange, petite grain, petite grain. Sorry, these little <laughs> uh, things are all over the floor. I'm not sure how you say that, and I'm not even sure what that is. Mid, rosemary, and sage. Base, oak, moss, rosewood, and vetiver. So, at least half those notes that I know can kind of go either way for me. So, we'll see how they're blended. Okay. I would say a masculine cologne, maybe. Um... It doesn't seem super strong though, but it's, I would say it's masculine, but it's not a overwhelming, like, 
smack you in the face masculine. Um, I'm not one to lean towards masculine sense, but this one, I think it's light enough and blended it enough that it's not going to be like overwhelming to me. So I'm excited to try that one as well. It, it does smell light, you know, but you never know. Okay, one that I'm really excited about is Cognac and Leather. Look at these labels. Okay. Top is wood and tobacco. Mid is rose and fruit. And base is leather and musk. Here we go. So I kind of get a mix of tobacco and leather. Um, doesn't seem like super overwhelming. I get a little rose on the bottom. And a little bit of fruitiness. I would say like a red berry, maybe a cranberry. I would say the initial things you get is the tobacco, leather, and maybe a little wood scent. I guess you could say this is masculine, but it's not like a masculine cologne or... Um, body wash. It's definitely unique. I think I'm really going to like that one. I like that undertone of the rose. Okay. Next, this would be probably a seasonal one by at least the name. It is Clearwater Creek. This is supposed to be a good kind of fresh I wish I could get a better <laughs> without the glare. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one says top is top notes are fresh and ozone. Mid notes are citrus, dewy herbals, and base is musk and wood. Okay. I get the citrus. And ozone, I think. I really like this. It's I. I don't think I get a wood note to it. I get a little under um, scent, like way in the back of the dewy green, dewy herbals. Yeah, this is a good, fresh ozone scent, I guess. I wouldn't say aquatic. It's not like masculine. Yeah. You know, these their scents are so com complex. Um, you know, the more you smell it, the more notes you get. And I don't feel like I get that with most other companies. Um, except with Cincy, obviously, but this is uh, turning out to be, I think, my second favorite company for wax. So next, we have, in country candle format, Winter Sangria. So, notes are... Top notes are first frost, damask plums, pomegranate seeds. Wow, that's a lot of top first notes. I mean, top notes. Mid notes, orange zest, apple peel, blackberries. Base is sheer musk, cane sugar, and mint leaves. I smell like a red berry.
an apple. This is kind of blended so well, I can't really pick out. I get a little hint of mint in the back. Um, I would just say red berries with a little apple and mint is what I get. I think it'll be, you know, warm. I'll get more complexity to that one. Next is Winter's Nap. Look at that cute puppy. Take a nap. Probably like mine's doing right now in the living room. Okay, top notes. Fresh cotton. Mid is powder, floral, and floral. Base is sandalwood and musk. So, the part that worries me in the notes is the powder. I hope it's not a powder floral note. Um, we shall see. Oh, and that's in the country candle version. Okay. I can see where they say powdery, but it's not like a powdery floral. It's kind of like a comforting powder note. Like that fresh cotton powder. Yeah. And it doesn't say vanilla, but I feel like I get vanilla. It's not like a heavy on the, on the sandalwood. It's got a creamy base, though, with a little fresh cotton. I would call it floral, either. Not sure what category I would put that in. Okay, let's unwrap another stack of five. I'm sorry, this is going to be a long video. Maybe I should get moving a little faster. Okay. So th they're sitting this way, so I'm going to try to hold it by that tray they're sitting in this time so they don't fall all over the place. There we go. Okay, sneak peek. That's one. <laughs> okay. Country candle... All these are country candle. Save in that little tray too. Okay, let's start with what might be a seasonal scent called Stardust. It's got a Christmas tree and you can see that bubble under that label. I think just about all of them have something like that, but if it bothers you. Let's see, Stardust. This is kind of one of those, ow. Um, top is green, lemon and floral, mid, amber, jasmine, nutmeg, orchid, wow. Base, benzoin, musky, oriental, and sandalwood. Benzoin, we got to look it up. Benzoin is the sap that comes from cuts in the tree, in the trunk of trees that belong to the Styrax family. It's used on the skin for ulcers, cracked skin, but there's no evidence to support. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it has like a camphor-like odor. Okay. All right, so back to the scent notes. Green lemon floral, mid amber jasmine nutmeg, orchid base, benzoin musky oriental scent. Okay. I think the main thing I, or the first thing that comes to me is the oriental and the musk, but it's not like a heavy oriental musk. Um, I kind of get that lemon that brightens it up. Mm -hmm. A little bit of floral and amber maybe. I don't really get any green from it. And the floral, is it orchid or jasmine? I 
think the floral I'm getting is the orchid. It's not a, uh, heavy on the sandalwood. That's a good, um, unique scent. I gotta give it to them. They are knocking these out of the park. Okay. Of course, you will see these as I warm them in my Wednesday meltdown videos. Oh, whoops, sorry. Next is Twilight Tonka. Getting ahead of myself. Twilight Tonka, top notes, bergamot, orange, chamomile, fig fruit. Min notes, fig fruit, coconut, cedar wood. And base is fig fruit, sandalwood, and vanilla. Well, <laughs> I think it's got a lot of fig fruit in it. <laughs> yes, definitely a lot of fig. Um, kind of reminds me. Kind of reminds me of the Scentsy... What was just in the Bring Back My Bar last month, Midnight Fig. It's not as dark, deep and dark as that one. It's a little brighter. Which I guess would be the orange. Chamomile. I'd say I get a little chamomile that kind of makes it a little brighter as well. Yep. Another good one, Twilight Tonka. That's another good one. Next is Lemon Lavender. And notes for this is citrus fresh fruity lemon on the top. And then mid is floral lavender and lavender. Base is sweet and woody. This is good. Okay, so. I get that lavender. And the lemon. I get the lemon, but it's not a. It's not your typical lemon. So I think that's really everything else that's kind of mixing in with that lemon. This is a bright lemon lavender that's not super like sour like lemon, a lot of lemon lavender are. Yep. I don't get woody. That's in the base notes. I don't really get wood from this. And I don't really get floral per se. I think there hasn't really been one that I'm not excited about. Okay, so this I think is the only one that I bought multiples of because I really had high hopes when I was placing the order that it smells similar to Scentsy's Apple Press. I have one bar of Scentsy's Apple Press in my Scentsy Club that comes to me quarterly in my quarterly club. I love it. I wish I had more in the scent notes for Macintosh Apple in the country, country candle line from Kringle. The scent notes were similar. So I'm kind of hoping. We'll see. Macintosh Apple. Top notes. Apple, pear, pineapple. Mid is jasmine and rose. Base is musk and vanilla. I would say it's similar. I don't, I don't know if it's a dupe for me, but it's definitely more complex than just a plain red apple like since he's Johnny Appleseed. There's definitely more to it than that. So I wanted to compare the Macintosh apple from Kringle Country Candle line to the Scentsy Apple Press. Okay, so Scentsy's 
is a richer red apple scent with that rose um, and pear. Cincy's is the Mac apple, pear, and rose. And then Country Kringle says apple, pear, pineapple, jasmine, rose, musk, vanilla. So to me, this one is a brighter red apple. And I can, that pineapple in it probably brightens it up a little bit. With maybe a hint of the rose. But neither one of these, you would pick out rose. So don't think you're actually going to, you know, feel like this is a rose scent. It's just to add some complexity to them. And they may both be really good and my favorites now. <laughs> I don't think that will be a substitute for my Scentsy Apple Press. Um, but it is definitely better than just your basic Mac Apple scent. So I do like it. I like to see how that warms as well. Okay. Another pack of wax. Let's unwrap this and try not to make a mess. If I can find the end. There we go. They pack these so well. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Put my Scentsy bar back over there. Oh, man. Y'all, I may have a lot of new favorite waxes now. Okay. So, first, it's one of their very popular scents. Gray. Does that remind you of anything? Possibly had a few books. And then a few movies. Just saying. Okay. I guess this one didn't necessarily say top, mid, and bottom notes. My notes say citrus, florals, exotic woods, and musk. Undertones of vanilla and tonka bean. Oh, yeah. Okay. I really thought this was going to be like a col masculine cologne scent. I don't think it is. Mm -mm. I mean, you get that wood in it, woodsy note, but it's kind of got a creamy background, but then a bright foreground, I guess. The citrus and floral. Yep, that's unique. Um... I can't really say what citrus. I'm interested. Okay. This whole time I never ordered this one because I thought it was a masculine cologne scent. It's not. At least not on cold, it's not. Um, we'll do kind of the holiday ones next out of this bundle. Next is November. November. There we go. And again, love their labels. Okay. November. Top is chilled citrus. Mid is blue, lavender, spearmint, peppermint. Base is white amber and white birch. So... I'm hoping the peppermint is not strong. I don't tend to like peppermint if you haven't heard me say that before. It's not, not distinctly peppermint. There is a coolness to it though. Hence the November, I guess, part. Can't seem to get it out. Okay. I think 
think I mainly get spearmint. It's kind of a light scent overall. I can smell a lavender in there. I don't know that I get a chilled citrus. There is a chill, I mean, <laughs> it's a little cold today. <laughs> Everywhere, I think. Um, so the bar is actually a little cold. It was just delivered maybe two hours ago, but it smells cold, you know? Kind of how, um, is it snowberry, I think? I'm pretty sure it's snowberry. It kind of has that chilly feeling. This does too. It's not distinct peppermint, so if you don't like peppermint, this is fine, because I don't like peppermint either. Um, I really, other than the spearmint and maybe a tad of peppermint and lavender, I can't pick out any of the other notes. So, interested in that one too. Next we have Holiday Pop. And I'm assuming this one might be kind of similar to Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast. The Scentsy, um... Pomegranate Prosecco, kind of along that line. So, top is effervescence and berry. Mid is lime and floral. Base is white. White amber, sorry, and cassis. This reminds me of something. I think the first, like the main note I get is the lime. Sorry if I'm, I'm looking down at the scent notes, obviously down here as I'm smelling these. This reminds me of something. The lime is the main note I get, but I like it. I like lime scents, so to me that's a good thing. Effervescence, I don't really, I don't really get an effervescence from it. I do kind of get that cassis note. I think that's how you say it. That's how I say it. Which, what is cassis? Let's see. I know cassis is also in um, Scentsy's Be Merry, which is my favorite Christmas scent. So, let's see. <laughs> That's not right. Let's see. A sweet, dark red liquor made from black currants. Okay. See, I was thinking it was like a red berry or a dark berry. That's cream, cream, cream de cassis. So... What is a cassis fruit? There we go. Black currant, also known as black currant or cassis. Am I saying it right? It doesn't say. You don't care. <laughs> okay. So I get the lime and the cassis, I think. Cassis. Yeah. I get like the bright lime and then like a dark berry. Like it. Holiday pop. I don't really get the effervescence, but maybe that comes out warming. Next is Northern Lights. Nope. I'm getting lazy. Sorry. Northern Lights. Look how pretty. Uh, da, da, Northern Lights. Here's another thing. I don't know what it is or how you pronounce it. Top is Mudget. Sage and lemon. Oh, and ozone. Mid is eucalyptus, peppermint, lavender, jasmine. Base is cypress, mountain woods, mint, musk, and amber. That's a lot. We'll look up that word in a little bit. 
Oh, this reminds me of something too. Kind of get like a peppery note. Not in a bad way. Um, that could be the sage. I kind of get peppery notes from sage sometimes. I do kind of get that eucalyptus and peppermint. To me, it smells more eucalyptus. Not getting lavender. Kind of get a floral undertone. Mountain woods, I kind of get that, yep. Um, yeah, good, fresh. A fresh scent and cold. Cooling kind of sensation from the scent. I'm sorry if y'all don't like me looking up these words. I just, you know, I get curious. And if I don't know it now, I'll forget you can just fast forward maybe if you don't like it. Oh, Lily of the Valley, is that what it is? Oh, it's pronounced Moogay, M-O-O dash G-A-Y, Moogay, but it's Lily of the Valley. So, okay. I wouldn't say I get that. <laughs> no. I think I get kind of that peppery sage and then the eucalyptus um, tiny bit of peppermint. That'll be interesting. Okay, and the next two that I have, at least from this pack, are not really winter or whatever. They're more summer, I suppose. We'll go next with Rosemary Lemon. And yeah, you would assume Rosemary and Lemon are in the notes. Let's see. Top is herbs, jasmine, and lemon. Mid is lime and orchid. Base is peach, tea, wood, and ylang. Ylang, I'm guessing. Okay. I don't know that I get much rosemary. Just a tad of rosemary. I think I get more lemon than anything. So first I get lemon. A little bit of the tea note, I think. A hint of rosemary. A little bit of lime. I don't get peach. I don't get wood. Yeah. A good, complex rosemary lemon scent. You know, I like that these scents aren't just basic. Two notes and that's all you smell even though there's five listed. You can kind of smell a little of each note just about. Alright, next we have Fiji. Kringle Candle, and the notes are, top is Kiwi Blossom, Mandarin, and Mugay, which is Lily of the Valley, now we know that. Mid is, <laughs> shouldn't have bragged, mid notes, Frangipani, Fram Frangipani, Green Coconut, Orchid, and Pear, base is Amber Musk, pineapple nectar, and vanilla. This is supposed to just smell like what you see in this picture. Oh, wow. Wow, I really like this. What's that note I'm getting on top? Is it the kiwi blossom? 
This smells kind of familiar. There's a note in there very familiar. The pineapple from one of Scentsy's. One of Scentsy's scents has the same pineapple note. Okay, um, so I get the pineapple, and I think a little bit of the kiwi, and the coconut, and the orchid. just a little bit of creamy vanilla to put it all together oh yeah such a complex great scent um i don't know that i would say that it smells like what i thought it did it doesn't smell like what i thought it did what i thought it would smell like it is good though oh man yes. knocked it out of the park kringle Okay. Next. This is my last six pack in here. Be very careful when I open. So they obviously they go around one direction and then they go around the other direction. So I'm getting the hang of this. Several six packs later. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I did order multiples of another scent. We'll get to that. Okay. Because I had already smelled that one. Okay. These wax, these are cold. Imagine that in Texas, huh? Um, okay. We will go holiday first. Kind of switching back and forth here. Okay. First is Country Candle. Jingle all the way. Look. If I haven't said it five times already. I'm going to say it one more. I love their labels. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm liking it. <laughs> okay. Um, jingle all the way. Top notes, berries, cinnamon. Mid notes, citrus, jasmine. Base notes, nutmeg, and wood. This is not heavy on the cinnamon, so if you don't like cinnamon, don't worry. It's not heavy. It just adds a little um, kind of interest to it. I really like this. Um, huh. <laughs> I don't think most of them have looked like that. Here's the Fiji. I guess I should have been showing you the wax. Noted for next time. Okay, um, so jingle all the way. I get berries. What kind of berries? I kind of get red and dark. Not blueberry, but like a blackberry. Mixed with um, like a cranberry maybe. I don't get any like jasmine floral specifically. There is a little bit of brightness made, I think, with that mid note of citrus. And then some depth and some interest with the cinnamon and the nutmeg. I don't get like a woodsy note. You know, nutmeg though can kind of be like a nutty woodsy note. I'm always interested when scent notes list nutmeg because to me it's it's a very complex note. Yeah, this one's good. Yep. I would say I would say most of these smell like medium scents, other than the ones I probably mentioned that they might smell a little light. Okay. Sorry, I gotta take a drink. Next we have First Fallen Snow. Top notes. Christmas berries. Petite grain. 
I don't know what that is either. I guess we'll be looking that up. And clove. Clove leaf. And then mint notes. Bayberry wreath. Iced raspberry winter mint. Base is Colorado spruce, sugar cane, and vanilla. This is really interesting to me because of kind of the wide range of notes that are in here. I'm hoping that that Colorado spruce is not super overly like make it masculine or anything. Hmm. Okay. I almost get like a almost a campfire note. Interesting. That must be the clove. Christmas berries. A little bit. It's kind of like a cranberry mixed with clove, but it says clove leaf, so maybe it's not as strong of a clove note. And then maybe a hint of the bayberry. Raspberry, I don't get. Winter mint, I could say, yeah. That spruce note, I don't really get vanilla. You know, vanilla's just added to kind of blend things a little better. That's interesting. It's kind of like a smoky note. It's got to be that clove. Let's look up that, how to say it and what it is. Petite green. Y'all let me know if y'all like me doing this or if you'd rather me skip it. It's a... Derived from the bitter orange tree. Uh, a refreshing floral and herbaceous scent. Oh, it is petite grain because it means small grain. I don't see something saying that's how you pronounce it, but I'm assuming since it means small grain that it's petite. Um, da -da -da. It's distilled from the immature bitter orange fruit. Smells heavenly, it says. It's green, sparkling, bright, with a distinctive orange blossom accent. Yeah. I can kind of get that in that in with that smoky note, kind of a, uh, what happened? Okay. Kind of an orange woodsy note. Okay. Enough of that one. Now we have fresh aspen snow. Top notes, morning air, icy frost, mandarin leaf, and mid notes are fir needle, snowfall, heliotrope, petals. And then the base is vetiver, cedarwood, and misted musk. Another interesting, odd... Kind of, not odd in a bad way. Morning air. Like a spearmint. That's icy frost, I guess. I get a little orange from it and fur needle. Heliotrope petals. I don't, I guess a little bit. I would say this is a fresh, kind of citrusy, cold scent. All right. And then, coconut colada. Okay. Y'all let me also let me know if you like how long this is. I know sometimes I like watching long videos. 
Okay, top notes in, okay, coconut colada. Top notes, pineapple citrus cocktail. Mid notes, coconut. Base note, musk. So, not a ton listed here. I definitely get coconut. little citrus and a little pineapple. Not real musky. It's good. Probably get a lot better on uh, warming it. Next, I purchased two bars of this one. Baby, it's cold outside. Top notes, berry, citrus, sweet. Mid notes, dewberry, jasmine, vanilla. Base notes, creamy, musk, sandalwood. Um, I've already smelled this scent before in the daylight version. I haven't melted it though. I haven't warmed it, but it's extremely unique to me. A good creamy vanilla, sweet berry. I don't really get uh, the floral jasmine or the sandalwood. It's a nice cozy scent. Um, definitely recommend it just on cold. It's really unique and good and cozy. Okay. Sorry. Next we got this is the last of the wax melts. So I guess now I know to order these in six packs so I can get the little trays. Maybe make it easier for them to um, pack. Okay, so one of these is holiday and one of these is more summer probably. We will go holiday. Tinsel time. Notes are, top is white birch, balsam, fir, and musk. Mid notes, pomegranate, holly berry. Base, holly greens, and citrus. Was having a hard time. That one corner was not, I don't know how to show you. Anyway, that one corner was not coming off very easy for some reason. Uh, this kind of smells similar to the Sicilian orange, which is odd. Doesn't say there's orange. I really like this. I like this better than the Sicilian orange. Um, so I get that pomegranate and holly berry mixed with a nice green. Oh, it does say there's citrus. Yeah. Nice green and citrus note. The first thing would be the citrus, I think, that hits you. And then the pomegranate holly and holly. And then... A little bit of, like, balsam. I really like that. Yeah. Yes. I really like that one. I was kind of hesitant about that one and... Now that I've smelled it, I don't know why. Maybe the birch, I bet, is probably why. Okay, next. And the last wax in this haul is watercolors. Top note is apple, citrus, and currant. Mid notes are jasmine, musk, rose. Base notes are sandalwood, sparkling, strawberry, and sweet pea. I mean... Sounds really good. I'm kind of hoping it's a good fruity complex note. It's light. Um, this smells familiar to me. I'm not sure. Kind of just get a blend of like apple and a touch of citrus. A 
with the strawberry and sweet pea. The main note, I think, is apple. Um, but interesting. It's it does smell familiar, but I can't place. I can't place it. Okay, last item and my only candle. So here's how this is packed. It had bubble wrap on the bottom. It had peanuts all around. It's got the carton top and bottom. There it is. I think. Is it? Oh, that's taped. That's why. Well, I think I have some scissors here. Yep. Here's what we're going to do. I'm holding it by the candle, obviously. So, okay. There goes the bottom. There goes the top. I had one six pack of wax melts in this scent. Absolutely loved it. I believe it was a brand new scent for 2021. And it is Juniper and Laurel. Absolutely amazing scent. This candle is super cold. On uh, cold. You get that green note from the juniper. Let me pull up the notes for it. Okay, top note, laurel leaves and eucalyptus. Mid notes, white juniper and jasmine and silver spruce. Base notes of patchouli, cedar, and pine cone. So, I think you kind of get a little bit of all of that, but it's mainly the juniper and laurel leaf and everything else just enhances those notes. Um, I do remember when I first got this in wax, I wasn't like wowed by it, but when I warmed it is when it bloomed and was amazing. It was a strong scent in the wax and I'm hoping it's just as strong in this. I know some other um, YouTubers, the Philly Candleman and Mr. Kong's mom have also reviewed this and love it. Um, so this will be my first candle in it. And like I said, in one of my prior videos, these are two wicks by the way, I don't actually burn my candles. I either chop them up and use them as melts or I put them in candle crocks or under candle lamps. This one will probably go under candle lamp since I got a new one that Mr. Kong's mom recommended and I love it. It has an adjustable lamp top. Anyway, I'll do a video about the different candle lamps. But anywho, I don't burn candles. So I'm just very sensitive to like that kerosene note. People think I'm crazy, but that I get it on every candle. I can't, I don't know why. So I don't burn them. They go in other methods, but warmness is amazing. Highly recommend it. It's probably still available. It may even be on sale right now. I love it. I'm extremely happy with this haul. I can't wait to melt these. So give me a thumbs up. I'm sorry this was so long. Maybe I should have split it into two. <laughs> Maybe I will still. Um, anyway, uh, that's my two cents. Leave your two cents in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.